As I've been traveling and talking to people virtually and face-to-face in the past month or so, there seems to be a, a common theme that's happening that I really wanted to share with y'all. And I talk a lot sometimes about that difference between chronological and developmental age. And when we work with kids who maybe have learning disabilities or other types of challenges, there's always going to be that gap as to what we would expect them to know and how we would expect them to behave at a certain age versus how they actually behave. And our job is to try to think about closing that gap. And one of the pressures that we're all feeling right now is closing an academic gap, uh, scores, things that kids have lost in the past couple of years as school has gone up and down in different uh, directions. But the reality is, is that there's going to be a gap there when it comes to developmental age, when they behave and how they behave. So what's happening is our 10th graders are looking more like 7th graders. Our 7th graders are looking more like 5th graders. Our 5th graders are 3rd graders. And below that, it's our kids' first time coming to school, if you will. And so they don't have those kind of the way you do school at a certain age. They don't have those, what we would call um, normal, if you will, experiences. So I often have high school teachers that will say to me, oh my gosh, Polly, I did not sign up to teach you know, middle school. I say, listen, I get that. I totally get it. But right now, that's what you got. And they don't have the affective skills that we would expect the average 10th grader to come to school with. So now we, as 10th grade teachers and 11th grade teachers and whatever, we have to figure out how we're going to get the affective schools that we, affective skills rather, excuse me, that we do in middle school into our 10th graders. And the same thing as you go down the line and up the line. So please be aware, please be conscious of that. If you're teaching kindergarten, you may have developmentally from a behavior standpoint and social emotional skills developmentally you may have two-year-olds in your classroom and so you have to really not I'm not saying lower the bar but the expectations have to be realistic so we're not gonna be able to crush those things into kids and we're not gonna fill that type of developmental gap very quickly we're gonna have to kind of revert back stop make assumptions and realize that you have to purposely teach all those skills that they may have had had the last two years kind of not gone down as it did so we can do this. It's just accepting our audience and um, tapping off each other, calling each other and saying, how did you do that in middle school? How did you do that when you're in the fifth grade? And helping each other out because that's what we need right now. So the next six months is going to be really, really crucial as we start pulling kids back into the way we do school.